Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and today we're taking a look at the brand new build of uh, Windows 10 which is the Insider Preview 10074. So for all of you out there that are wondering where we are at with Windows 10, uh, this is a look and a small review of the Windows 10 technical preview or Insider Preview is a new name for it. So this was pushed to pretty much everyone in the fast and the slow ring. It is the third update of the build for uh, insiders in one month, which is really nice. There's a lot of action going on with Windows 10. Um, install went well, took about an hour here on this machine, which is typical as most, most build took about one hour. One of the things that uh, went um, pretty well here is the fact that no errors, nothing wrong. In the last build, I did have one blue screen while it installed. Nothing here. Everything went flawlessly. Everything went well. I even have the impression that actually it fixed a lot of issues that I've had. And uh, really nice. The first thing that you notice when you actually have it first is this cosmetic where you now have this new arrow glass feel like in Windows 7 they're trying to probably bring back a little bit of our feel of Windows 7 um, live tiles now have this 3d effect I don't know if you noticed but for example this tile here a little just as I open the menu actually here it goes while I'm talking about it uh, 3d effect is like this big um, rectangle 3d rectangle or cube that's actually uh, turning so a uh, mix of effects from turning in 3D to uh, gradual changing and so on. So lots of uh, changes cosmetically. Um, for example, the volume control is now a really a horizontal control instead of a vertical line like we had before. Um, that's really nice. As for the... Uh, interface and everything well pretty much you know not a lot of change except for a few cosmetic things like that that I've just shown you here there is also more integration of Cortana Cortana has been really improved in this version it now works well you know I had kind of a broken Cortana and um, it worked off and on and I wasn't sure now it works really well so every time you can click and ask something for example what's the weather like it's actually no it's sending me that's you see that's that's some of the weird things so um, what is the weather here's what I found. you have to really carefully you know pronounce and say what you want so here's the weather it gives me the weather uh, other things for example 500 minus 36. So it gives you information for that. Um, you know, you can ask for stock. Um, you can ask for a flight if you have to take a flight somewhere. You can actually ask her, you know, what's the time of this or this flight or when will this flight arrive and so on. It's going to tell you in really detail. Uh, if, for example, tell me a joke. So here's the kind of little stupid, you know, jokes, but there's jokes. And there's a lot of them, though, uh, more than uh, Siri, for example, in iOS. So, um, and, you know, you don't hear it, but every answer, everything that I ask now, she actually told me with her voice also. Um, something you don't hear because it's not um, configured for that. So Cortana is much more integrated here. And one of the interesting thing is that it's integrated pretty much everywhere. So when you click apps or open apps or search for programs, uh, it actually, as it's learning, will start telling you suggestions of other apps that are similar that might be interesting for you. And at first I was scared because, you know, we all have that feeling of Microsoft Clippy from, you know, the Office 2000 era where it would just interfere with everything we wanted to do 
And uh, actually, they really tweaked Cortana very well here because it will give suggestions that are much, much closer to what you are looking for, uh, which is actually something quite nice. Um, another thing that is uh, interesting is the tablet mode or the continuum mode, um, which is really cool because when you actually enable tablet mode in this preview version, uh, when you don't have any apps open, it reverts to the start menu. Um, you know, if you use the desktop, you're back to the desktop. If you, you have a touch device, a tablet, it actually reverts to the start menu, which I think is a very, very intelligent thing because in a touch device, a desktop is not useful. In a touch device, what you want is some kind of menu. And you know what? Windows 8.1 had one thing right, and it's the touch interface for tablets. It was fantastic. So I think they're halfway there. You know, they're getting there slowly. Um, Paul Tarot from Microsoft, um, from sorry, from Tarot.com website, was talking to a Microsoft representative that said that you know don't be don't worry about the touch devices uh it's still a little early and we're getting there uh so you know i think they're starting to get it slowly uh, a little better so now when you open apps or programs and you're in a tablet mode well now when you'll close or you know these apps or when you want to actually shut them down you're actually going to be sent to uh that new start screen instead of uh, really getting to uh, the desktop, which is a good idea for anybody using a touch device. So that's cool for tablet mode. For the rest, other cosmetic changes or anything else, the Microsoft Store seems the same. Still tweaked a little bit, you know, with categories and so on. What's interesting is that many apps have updates. Uh, the music app, the video app, all have updates that make them a, l a lot more interesting actually and um, you feel like you want to go and explore all of these different apps. Um, Cortana will of course also give you little hints of you know this or that app that you might not have looked at and um, so it's you know kind of interesting. Uh, a, a funny thing is that the browser which is Microsoft Edge is still called Project Spartan when you just put your little um, pointer here. And when you actually turn it on, it's the first time it actually displayed a page that said, oh, welcome to Microsoft Edge. And I was like, uh, okay, but it says Spartan in my taskbar. So, and even when the search, so for example, if I wanna search for it, if I put Edge, nothing comes up but if I put Spartan it does come up Project Spartan so it's kind of funny you know it's really really weird uh, this is something that I find uh, a little awkward uh, I think this should have you know maybe changed the name I don't think it was that hard but uh, so that's Microsoft Edge of course uh, a few you know these are the few little glitches you know this is a a preview version so it's you know incomplete of course um, apart from that what we know is that for the release date of Windows 10 because today there was some information about um, you know the release period no months no official date just one little phrase was we're gonna launch this summer so when is it July we don't really know but this summer is what we apparently know. Um, I would, I'm still thinking that it's not going to be July. I think it's going to be like, you know, August or maybe even early September. Um, there's a lot of things that need to be fixed yet. Another thing that also uh, you might have different from me, there are two batches of experience in the uh, Insider Preview. Half of the people with the Insider Preview got the same interface that I have with Aeroglass and so on. And 
half of the insiders got another style of interface that they look at because they want to have everybody telling them what they like and they don't like. So, you know, what we look and what we see now actually is not necessarily what we're going to have at the end because they're really launching uh, different interfaces depending on who you are and where you are. Uh, apart from that, no error messages. Everything went really, really well. Everything was extremely cool. Um, no error messages. I've been using this preview for a good 12 hours, 10 to 12 hours. I used it as my main working computer. And uh, really, really cool to have this uh, working um, fast, crisp, no errors. And uh, hopefully, it fixes a lot of bugs from a lot of people because, uh, you know, since I've been making these videos, a lot of people tried it and a lot of people said, whoa, I'm, uh, I'm having terrible bugs. And uh, even uh, a few articles that I've read on the web of people saying, wow, it kind of broke my computer, man. Well, um, hopefully this one is actually better. And once again, I cannot stress, if you have problems with the uh, build version, one of the first things you need to do is to install a fresh copy. Get yourself these images uh, from the Insider website and install a fresh new copy instead of updating your previous build. I think that's the best way to have a, a good and nice smooth experience with Windows 10. So uh, that's pretty much what I have to say about this uh, preview. This is you know, slowly getting there to the future of what Windows will be like. Um, hopefully, they'll get it right. I actually like, and you know, I get a lot of positive comments. A lot of people actually like Windows 10, the way it's being built. So um, I think uh, slowly we're getting there and hopefully uh, we'll get a good and cool experience um, in the official release. And Microsoft did say that the first release, because this, you know, is a universal platform, so the first release will be PCs, so computers will be the first to have Windows 10. Then we'll have phones, Xbox, and so on. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, maybe you installed this build and have comments, uh, let us know. And um, hopefully you enjoy our videos, and we'll come back. Thank you for watching.